Hi, I'm Pumphrey. I'm Company. And, and we're, we're Pumphrey, Pumphrey and Company. Company. Here we restore collector cars from the antique and classic era as well as European sports cars. We'll be producing videos on both historical facts and automobiles as well as technical things from machining, sheet metal work, fabrication. We'll, we'll produce more of the one that you like as long as you give us some feedback. If you like it, subscribe. If you really like it, tell your friends. Hey guys, alright, so today we are thread repairing. Uh, before we jump on to repairing this thread here in this pot metal um, casting for this 356 Porsche carburetor, uh, let's talk about generally what we're doing. So there's different types of ways to repair bad threads or, you know, strip threads. One is a helicoil design like this where it's basically just a coil. You drill, tap it to this OD, and then you thread this guy in, and then you have your, your new threads because this is pushing out on there. Now notice that this is simply a coil. There's also other types where it's um, a single piece like this where there is no coil. You drill and tap it in the same fashion, screw this guy down in, and then you hammer these pins in and it locks it in position. Now personally, I like these. I find them to be a lot stronger for applications like uh, head studs and, and the like. So, because uh, when you're pulling here, you're pulling on the entire unit in the thread. So. Um, there's just argument on what's stronger, and I find these to be a little bit stronger, but they don't make these in every single thread size, so occasionally you got to use what you can get your hands on. Um, so those are the different styles. There's there's additional other kinds and styles of, of uh, locking or uh, thread repairs, uh, so you might want to look into it. So let's get started. So step one is mounting the device, or the, excuse me, the carburetor on the table. The quill here is square to the table, and then we have to center the quill to the hole. Now, the reason for doing all of this, and not just simply doing it with a hand drill or drill press or something, is that you want that screw dead square to the base. If not, the screw's going to be off at kind of an angle, I'm exaggerating here, and it won't pull square down onto the onto the face and then you can run into other issues of cracking around here so you want it dead true square to the table square to the base of this which would be square to here um, this device is a centering device and it shows you the amount of uh, uh, the amount of throw outside of the center of the hole now it's not going to be dead perfect because this hole is not round anymore it's all screwed up so uh, when I turn the device on, you can see that's that's the throw. Now that's as close to uh, the center of it as I can find. Uh, and so there you have it. Now we're centered. Now we're going to go through and we're going to drill it and tap it. Okay, quill set up. Time to drill. Pretty easy. Okay, now it's time to tap it. Uh, I prefer doing it in the middle because then I know that it's still straight and square. Um, up top I have it neutral, it's out of gear so I can just turn it by hand here on through the uh, piece. Uh, if it's something harder or I have a bunch of holes then you use a tapping head so you can just mic these out on the CNC and then or, uh, measure them out on the CNC and then come in and just hit them with a, t with a uh, tapping head. But this works well for uh, for doing this in this scenario, and uh, there we go. Now it's tapped. Now it's time to install the thread suit. Okay, now it's time to drive the insert down into the newly threaded hole. So basically, you're just driving the screw down in there. Keep going here. I want it till it's flush on the top here. So there we go, the insert's installed. And you can't really tell. Um, now we have to fix the screw. So I'll give you a shot of this. You can see here that the, uh, the insert is in there. And it's uh, ready to be threaded and it's fixed. So on to the next. Okay, so something that's unique to uh, this situation is that this is a uh, 
the the thread size that this in that this screw is to fix the 356 uh, carb, it's not available in terms of a thread shirt, at least everywhere that I looked. Um, so I repair this to a 1224, and but this is not a 1224. So I want to keep and retain the original heads. Uh, what do I do for that? Well, simply cut this off, I'm gonna chuck it up in the lathe, bore into it some, and uh, and then I'm going to cut the threads off of the other screw that does fit this, and I'm going to simply silver solder uh, them together. This is kind of a common practice for uh, these situations, or if you have uh, an antique or vintage cars, if you have the screws, uh, the screw heads, but you can't get you know the screw bodies that you want. Uh, they just don't make them anymore, and if you want to be specifically correct for a show or judging or whatever, uh, this is what you do. So let's go on to that next step. Okay, now the machine head is uh, cut and machined flat. Now we'll come in with the center drills, mark the center, and then we'll come in, drill it, and tap it. In the center, so I drill it right dead nuts in the center. Okay, now it's drilled. Okay, now it's time to tap the head. Okay, now it's time to screw this lead in, and uh, I decided against silver soldering it just because it's going to be more work than uh, just simply screwing this in and then I'll actually just Loctite it in there. And for the application, I think it'll be just fine. It's not a lot of vibration and strength required on it. Um, should be good. So there we have it. We're almost done. Okay, there it is with uh, Loctite on there. And uh, I'll just leave it for a couple seconds, it'll dry up. I'm going to cut it to length and we're done. Okay, well here we are with it uh, repaired. Uh, the the thread is now threaded up in there and Loctited in. Uh, if, if I didn't have such a big head to be able to thread into with the, uh, with the screw, then I would definitely have to silver solder this piece in there. But I got lucky. Uh, this piece is, uh, is so large that it gives me a couple threads in there. Uh, Loctite it with some uh, super uh, Loctite there and it should be good for life. Um, it takes heat to remove it. So here you can see it screws down in there nice and tight. And we'll kind of get this fitting on there right. And away we go. There you go. Ready for the spring. Ready to be used. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Talk soon. Bye.